Good evening to everyone and welcome to this wonderful evening with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Neet PG, I'm very sure you're all brimming with that enthusiasm, ready to attack the examiner. Another 24 days left over. Today is uh, 25th March, right? So 6 plus uh, 17, almost 23 days. How many days doesn't matter how much we finished qualitatively. What examiner is going to ask us, are we ready to face that? That is the most important question. Good to see Srijana, Sridam, Abharanam and many more who are all online. Thanks for joining. Please inform your friends also to join. So totally from March 5th to April 15th, there are 40 full-scale grantors and every day 100 questions as a grantor on the Incas app. So once you are with me, all these 40 days and be able to do the revision of this 4,000 hand-picked most probable MCQs in the tomorrow's need PG. Nobody is going to stop you from becoming the winner. Only thing you need to do, many times I told Kalbi Bola, Ajbi Bola, Av Kalbi Bolunga, Eki Bhat. Small goals. Every day pick up around 10 topics which are not very sure, like retinoblastoma, retinitis pigmentosa, HOCM, multiple sclerosis, CD markers, apoptosis, glomerulonephritis, like grapes. You pick up the grapes, pick it up. Go back to the 2000 HD video library on the Inca Sand and try to do the revision. That is most important for you to become the winner. With that preamble, let's make the great start of the today's full scale grand test discussion. So, Dr. Guyans can all. What does it contain? Guyans can all. It contains the Anarna, is what you need to remember. Medial pterygoid muscle. Closure of the jaw. And it is supplied by the mandibular nerve, which is the Mandibular division, which is the division of the trigeminal, is what you need to remember. So, from the main trunk of the mandibular division of the trigeminal, the muscular branches that supply medial thyroid, tensor tympani, tensor veli palatini, and a meningeal branch which is sensory nerve, they all arise. Then from the anterior division, the masseteric nerve, deep temporal nerve, lateral pterygoid nerve, and the buccal nerve, which is the sensory nerve, arises from the anterior division of the mandibular division of the fifth cranial nerve. And from the posterior division of the mandibular division of the fifth cranial nerve, posterior division, auricular temporal nerve. All of you know very well, auricular temporal is the sensory part. So, auricular temporal nerve, which is sensory nerve, and the lingual nerve, which is also a sensory nerve, inferior nerve, which is sensory nerve, and the only motor branch coming from the posterior division of the mandibular division of the fifth grain nerve is the motor branch to the myelohyoid and the anterior belly of the digastric muscle which is called myelohyoid nerve is what I want to underscore to all of you. So this is one of the favorite areas of the examiner doctor. Remember, 
ट्रैजमल फेशियल विदउट दैट देर इज नो नीट बीज ए क्वेश्चन पेपर मैं लिख के देता हूं आपके आई विल राइट इट एंड गिव यू राइट नाउ व्हिच इज अ डिडक्टेड ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ सुपीरियर विनाकामा एसाइडस वीन इज द डायरेक्ट ट्रिब्यूटरी सो द डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम द अपर हाफ ऑफ द बॉडी टू द हार्ट्स राइट एट्रियम एंड it is the esophagus which is also called the cranial vena cava in case of animals from where does basal ganglia develop it is the neural plate ectoderm from which the basal ganglia develops so you should be very sure what are the neural crest derivatives doctor the spinal ganglia ganglia of the autonomic nervous system ganglia of some cranial nerves and the pigment cells suprarenal medulla they are all the neural crest derivatives once more very 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 important sure short topic you should not forget neural crest derivatives definitely puchne wala question hai kal ke exam mein so what are the derivatives coming from Telencephalon, diencephalon, mesencephalon, metencephalon, myelencephalon. Myelencephalon is the medulla. Diencephalon is the thalamus, epithalamus, hypothalamus, subthalamus, neurophagophysis, pineal gland, retina, optic nerve, and mammillary bodies. So you should know this division. Anterior fibers of the deltoid. What is their action? Flexion and medial rotation. is the axon anterior fibers of the deltoid so abduction when the shoulder is externally rotated anterior deltoid is weak in causing flexion but it helps the pectoralis major when the shoulder is undergoing transverse flexion that's what you need to remember then anterior deltoid plus subscapularis together will help in medial rotation of the humerus is what you need to remember and for oxygen dissolution curve shift to the right shift to the left favorite question of the examiner so anemia high altitude diabetic keto acidosis whenever the situation is demanding more amount of oxygen delivery <coughs> there is a shift to the right with a decreased affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen is what you need to remember there is after transfusion of 7 day or older blood the oxygen dissociation curve will be shifting to the left is what i want to underscore to all of you contraction of the mesangial cells is because of what it is a non epinephrine histamine angiotensin 2 which lead to the contraction spirometry cannot decide total lung capacity because total lung capacity ke liye aapko residual volume malum hona padega residual volume you can't calculate with spirometry hence total lung capacity you cannot calculate once more what is important lung volumes lung volumes this is the favorite topic of the examiner favorite topic you have to be 100% sure now coming to the second messengers so second messengers mediate the intracellular response to many different hormones and neurotransmitters all of you know now what does insulin do insulin increases the potassium uptake so not only glucose uptake by the cells but also potassium uptake also is by insulin so if there is no insulin then there is hyperkalemia if there is too much insulin then there is hypokalemia that is what you need to basically remember 
Insulin is also the one which decrease the ketogenesis and increase the cell growth. Is what you need to remember. अच्छा भैया हार्मोन सेंसिटिव लाइपेस क्या होता है? It is also called cholesterol ester hydrolase. So you should remember that it is the hormone sensitive lipase which converts the triacylglycerol into fatty acid. So whenever epinephrine or glucagon like hormones they act on the receptors on the cell membrane ATP will ATP will convert into Yeah. So ATP will convert into cyclic AMP by the action of adenylate cyclase. Then that will make the protein kinase A to release one phosphate and make the hormone sensitive lipase to become phosphorylated. In the phosphorylated form, the hormone sensitive lipase is active. So, what you need to remember, you need to remember that it is the epinephrine glucagon which stimulates the hormone sensitive lipase, whereas insulin inhibits. That's the point. So whenever you are fasting, you require more amount of free fatty acids. How is it possible? More and more triacylglycerol need to be broken down and free fatty acids need to be released whenever you are fasting. So whenever you are, oh, this uh, touch screen is very sensitive. The moment I am touching it is running. Sorry for that. The moment I am fasting, please remember, The epinephrine, glucagon, they all will increase. Whenever I am feeding, then insulin is released. Whereas epinephrine and glucagon are decreased. So fasting may hota hai rise of epinephrine and glucagon. That will cause the adenylate cyclase to produce cyclic AMP that will convert the protein kinase A to convert the hormones into stool lipase to become phosphorylated and that will break down the triacylglycerol to release the fatty acids. That is what we want when we are starving. So you should remember glucagon, catecholamines, ACTH, everything. They stimulate the hormone sensitive lipase. Whereas the hormone sensitive lipase, it is inhibited by the insulin. And uh, that's a point examiner is very keen to ask you. Achavaya, what is the most important? Uh, very, very, very important, sure, short MCQ in the tomorrow's NEET PG. Batao, batao, batao. What is the sure, short topic in NEET PG? Lipids. LDL, VLDL, HDL, chylomicrons. How are they? Metabolized. What is lipoprotein lipase, which is different from hormone sensitive lipase? Everything, anything about biochemistry, may lipoproteins. Padke jana mere yaro. Out of the six MCQs in the tomorrow's need PG, sure short ane wala topic hai. Likhlo aapke two hundred pages notebook me. Lipids, lipoproteins. If there is no MCQ on lipoproteins, I will stop teaching. My shepherd lay down. 
डेफिनेटली पूछेगा एग्जामिनर छोड़ेगा नहीं अगर आप नहीं पढ़ के गए तो आपका जिम्मेदारी ठीक है सो एंजाइम नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेशन पाइरोट किनेज सल्जनेट थायो किनेज फॉस्फोरेट किनेज देर ऑल इन्वॉल्व इन सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेशन देर इज फॉस्फो फ्रिप्टो किनेज जो होता है फॉस्फो फ्रिप्टो किनेज इट इज कन्वर्टिंग द फ्रुप्टो सिक्स फॉस्फेट इन टू फ्रुप्टोज वन सिक्स बाई फॉस्फेट एंड ब्रेक्स डाउन द एटीपी and why you need to remember phosphofructokinase because it is the rate limiting enzyme of glycolysis and it is highly regulated aur ek baat very 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 important sure short topic of murli bharatwaj glycolysis citric acid cycle glyco gen synthesis ग्लाइकोजेनोलाइसिस फ्रुक्टोज मेटाबॉलिज्म पेंटोज फॉस्फेट पाथवे इन चीजों के ऊपर अगर एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछे तो मुझे पूछो डेफिनेटली पूछेगा तो हाउ मच एनर्जी इज प्रोड्यूस व्हाट आर द वेरियस रिएक्शन व्हाट इज द रेट लिमिटिंग एंजाइम एवरीथिंग पूरा यू शुड बी रेडी मिक्सी में डालो और ग्राइंड करके जाओ कल के एग्जाम में सो डॉक्टर वट इज द फर्स्ट सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेशन स्टेप डॉक्टर वन थ्री डाई फॉस्फो ग्लिजरेट टू थ्री फॉस्फो ग्लिजरेट कैटेलाइज बाय फॉस्फो ग्लिजरेट किनेज सेकेंड सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेशन फॉस्फो इन ऑल पाइरवेट टू पाइरवेट विल गिव बाई पाइरवेट किनेज दट इज द सेकेंड Substrate level phosphorylation. Definitely, पूछे गए एग्जाम में दो reactions के बारे में. Then what is succinate thiokinase? Succinyl coa becomes succinate. GTP is being produced in the citric acid cycle. This is also substrate level phosphorylation. बराबर? Definitely, पूछे गए एग्जाम में. so doctor all these powerpoints are made available in the inkasat my average bar aapko bol raha hu don't forget to download inkasat and daily ek mock test le lo like a multivitamin tablet last 40 days 40 gram test Evening 6 p.m. Join Murli Bharadwaj for discussion. Decide what are the ten topics you are really falling short. Totally 4,000 MCQs for discussion. करेंगे a 40 full scale grand test में. These are all hand picked questions. Definitely sure sharp जाने वाला questions है. जरा भी बकवास नहीं है इसमें. पूरा सच्चाई है. Complete truth. एवरीडे टेन टॉपिक्स इंप्रूव होना फोर्टी डेज में फोर हंड्रेड टॉपिक्स इंप्रूव होना उसमें से हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी क्वेश्चन आएगा आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन इन दूमोज एग्जाम क्रैक दम करेक्टली यू बिकम द टॉपर सिंपल सीक्रेट पेपर आउट हु वॉन्ट द नोबल प्राइज on his work on machinery regulating the recycle traffic which is the major transport system in our sense so you have to be very sure james rockman randy shekman thomas sudhoff they are the ones what are the most stable amino acid at physiological ph it is the histidine for the aneuploid detection we use fish rt pcr qf pcr by a qf pcr kya hota hai quantitative fluorescence pcr 
So it is used to copy small sections of the DNA in order to precisely quantify the amount of the DNA present. Is what you need to remember. Copper deficiency may deficient cross-linking is a feature of Menke's syndrome. What is the sign of reversible, irreversible cell injury? One of the favorite topic of the examiner. Amorphous density is in mitochondria. So what are the signs of irreversible injury, doctor? Swelling of the mitochondria, plasma membrane damage, swelling of the lysosomes with the release of their enzymes, and large flocculent, large flocculent amorphous densities in the mitochondrial matrix is another sign of irreversible cell injury. Are requirement going wrong? A be sure short MCQ hai, reversible versus irreversible cell injury. Jamane se puchre exam de he question ko. So mitochondrial damage. It will initiate a process of apoptosis, release the cytochrome C that activates apoph apoptosis activating factor that the Activates initiator caspases and the executioner caspases that will ultimately lead to irreversible cell injury, is what you need to remember. Multiple myeloma, favorite topic of the examiner. Translocation of the 1114 resulting in the upregulation of the cyclin D1 is the most common translocation detected in multiple myeloma. What are the components of cryoprecipitate, doctor? Fibrinogen factor 8, von Willebrand factor, they are all the part of it. So each 15 ml of cryoprecipitate contains 100 international units of factor 8 and 250 milligrams of fibrinogen and also von Willebrand factor and factor 13 is what you should remember. As a party effect, but lung cancer, small cell lung cancer. Typically, the blood vessels in the necrotic area, they will show the smudged hematoxyphilic material in their cell wall, which represents the DNA which is being released from the tumor cells is called as esopardi effect. So called index. It is for the prognosis of CMF. So what are the parts of so-called index? Age of the patient, spleen below coastal margin, platelet count, myeloblast percent, isnophil percent, basophil percent. They are the components of the circle index is what you should remember. So what is the effect of bradykinin? So bradykinin is a vasodilator, not a constrictor. Bradykinin is a bronchoconstrictor, but a vasodilator is what you need to remember. The sure sign of malignancy, metastasis. Your metastasis is malignant. Iron deficiency, which index is more accurate out of all this? It is the mean corpuscular volume, which is a more important indicator. So what is the main cell leading to atherosclerosis, doc? Monocyte. Collapsing glomerulopathy. Once more, what is the sure shot? Very, very, very important MCQ by Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Glomerulonephritis. Agar meet PG mein glomerulonephritis ke baare mein question nahi hai, toh mera naam Bharadwaj nahi. So, remember, doctor, it is the visceral epithelial cells. See, if you take the Bowman's capsule, doctor, there is one parietal epithelium, parietal epithelium, and there is one visceral epithelium. Visceral epithelium mein kya hota? Podocytes rakhega. So, these podocytes, which are the visceral epithelial cells, they undergo necrosis and there is a hypertrophy.
That is called collapsing nephropathy. Collapsing nephropathy. So what is the most important cause of the collapsing nephropathy, doctor? It is the HIV associated nephropathy is the most important cause. So there's a microcystic tubular dilatation and focal segmental glomerular stenosis, the typical findings of collapsing focal segmental glomerular stenosis. Now, what is LD50? What is ED50? More the ED50, greater is the potency. True. High therapeutic index means they are less toxic. Effective dose, more dose for that head that will produce half the maximum response. So ED50, if that therapeutic, if that dose at which therapeutic effect is, 50% of population will show. So, if a drug need to be permitted to go, for example, vaccine, COVID vaccine, COVID vaccine ko launch karna bole to minimum 50% rena ED50. So, that is the reason the ED50 is also called minimum effective dose. So, if a drug A has a Lower ED50 compared to drug B, then what is the meaning of that? For the same therapeutic effect produced by the drug A, B can produce, but at a lower dosage it can produce. That is the reason ED50 is an indicator of potency is what you need to remember. Barabar? LD50. It is that dose at which 50% of the population develop the toxic effects. That is the reason LD50 is called maximum acceptable dose. Because this dose is more than 50% of the population will get toxically affected. So if a drug A has a LD50 lower compared to B means, same toxic effect produced by the drug A is produced at a lower dose by B. So that is how LD50 denotes safety is what you need to basically remember. Peptibodies, L thrombopack, oprilvakin, filgrastin, ramiplastin. Out of that, it is a ramiplastin which belongs to the class called peptibodies. So why, what is the meaning of peptibodies? Romiplastin is a fusion protein analog of thrombopoietin, which regulates the platelet production. So if you want to treat ITP, romiplastin is indicated. So peptibodies or the peptide FC fusions are a very good alternative to the monoclonal antibodies. So glomerular filtration depends on what? It depends on the molecular weight, plasma protein binding, and the renal blood flow. They're all the deciding factors. So the DFR mainly depends on the age, circulatory status, so decrease EFR whenever there is a shock. Shock. Similarly, 
it depends on the molecular weight only the molecular weight less than 20000 only can undergo filtration that's a point you need to appreciate then coming to the so once this is glomerulus doctor powman's capsule filtration happened then once filtered another factor is tubular reabsorption if a drug is more lipid soluble more lipid soluble very good to see narsi bajia and many more so it is more lipid soluble then it is more reabsorbed and less excreted and what is he decides the lipid solubility it is the ph which decides so acidic drugs are excreted in alkaline environment so if you want to get it off the body barbiturates salicylates sulfonamides what will you do you will alkalinize the urine because they are all acidic drugs alkaline drugs are better excreted in the acidic medium so you use ascorbic acid ammonium chloride in order to get it off amphetamine and pethidine that's the point so the general principle is the more water soluble the drug and less lipid soluble it is less reabsorbed and hence it will promote more excretion so all our job to get rid of any drug from the body is to make it less lipophilic and more hydrophilic is what you need to remember now what are the drugs which are actively secreted by the tubules tubules typically will start secreting them secreting them so that they go into the urine penicillin probenicid salicylates thiazides nitrofurantoin indomethacin methotrexate these are the drugs which are actively secreted that's a point you need to remember so there is a reason when two drugs both of them are competing to get secreted there can be a competition which will affect one drug from getting secreted by the other drug so if you take the probenicid it prolongs the action of penicillin and it decreases the action of nitrofurantoin quinidine it decreases the excretion of digoxin that is what you need to basically remember so what is the most potent statin doctor rosuvus statin is most potent among all the statins dibocaine number is mainly for pseudocholine esterase estimation medlar bodies they are seen in chromoblastomycosis they are all those copper colored spherical is called medlar bodies in chromoblastomycosis homocytotropism is seen with immunoglobulin e antibody ring of form in the are typically found in this kind of rings ring forms they are the feature of falciparum plasmodium falciparum culture entrance may image based mcq very high probability yoshita and many more who are all online most welcome so every day evening 6 pm 
we have 100 mcqs daily mock test need pg mock test discussion so please tell your friends also to join a 65 year old with high grade fever with cough with sputum sputum showed gram positive cocci they showed a greenish discoloration that means and a partial hemolysis that means alpha hemolytic so now comes a very important question what is basitrecin optrecin novo biosin sensitivity you have to be 100 percent sure about these three important tests doctor basitrecin optrecin and novo biosin chalo discuss karenge iske bare mein bhaiya optrecin hota hai ethyl hydrocuprin it is used for the presumptive diagnosis of streptococcus pneumoniae because streptococcus pneumoniae is optrecin sensitive whereas the other alpha hemolytic if you look at the alpha hemolytic uh, cocci you have one side streptococcus pneumoniae other side you have streptococcus viridans viridans is optrecin resistant streptococcus pneumoniae is optrecin sensitive that is what the differentiator between the two is what you have to emphatically remember then basitrecin why do you use basitrecin basitrecin to distinguish streptococcus pyogenes this is sensitive from all other beta hemolytic streptococci if you want to differentiate streptococcus pyogenes pyogenes from all other beta hemolytic streptococci saran bitwade says hello sir ji i am panic are panic ka zarurat kya hai bhaiya aap bahut acha pad rahe ho right so believe in yourself last 25 days is like any other day very good amount of time in the hand just limit yourself very important thing doctor please don't forget just to limit yourself to selective topics i bol raha hu na march 5th se shuru karke april 15th tak pura 40 mock test mai conduct kar raha hu daily mock test need pg ka every day 100 questions ke hisab se 4000 mcqs ka discussion kar raha hu they are all hand picked questions sure shot aane wale questions ke sab kuch bakwas hai yahi sachai hai aap roz mujhe follow karo morning morning aap inka sab download karo morning morning as you start preparation take a 100 mcq mock test and identify 10 to 15 topics where you are feeling weaker just strengthen those topics and evening aaram se murli bharat vaash ke sath discussion mein participate karo agar seat nahi aaye to mera zimmedari right because examiner has only very fixed issues to test you so these are the 4000 solid questions and topics from which the 170 or 200 questions are going to come what else do you need doctor right so no panic please now basitrecin streptococcus pyogenes from other beta hemolytic streptococci you use the basitrecin samajh mein aa gaya na optrecin for differentiating streptococcus pneumoniae from viridans both of them are alpha hemolytic basitrecin is for very good narsi badia is saying b for basitrecin for beta hemolytic excellent then comes novo biosin it is active against staphylococcus epidermidis and if you want to differentiate 
staph epidermidis from other coagulase negative streptococci i mean coagulase negative staphylococci then we use the novo bios barabar so the teen murtiyon ko yaad rakhna what are they bacitracin no biasin optician will you promise me kal ke exam mein ye nahi aayega aur aaj ka sham aapko yaad aayega <coughs> so what is the reservoir of epstein bar virus doctor memory b cells which first with what is the first carpal bone to ossify capitate so one one crpc criminal procedure code number puchega doctor very 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 important uh, mcq for the tomorrow's exam you have to remember you have to reproduce be very sure so it is the criminal procedure code 176 so it talks about what constitutes a dowry death right so but within 7 years of marriage dowry death can be booked danbury tremors are typically caused by arsenic poisoning you can never disclose the identity of a rape victim if you do that you are punishable whether you are a press or anything doesn't matter even if you are a judge also you cannot reveal it. 228a in mars if you remove the body organs what is the technique called in autopsy letulase method evangeline good evening thanks for joining the evening late expanding stage of population death rate declines more than the birth rate randomized control trial dropouts are not included dropouts are not are not excluded from the study kfd tularemia tick paralysis they are all heart tick doctor heart tick but relapsing fever is soft tick is what you should remember if there is a high false positive rate there is a low prevalence low prevalence or base rate it will yield a high false positive rates keep punching your answers doctor please do punch your answers standard error of the mean it is based on the uh, normal distribution it depends on the standard deviation it is an estimate of confidence limit sab kuch barabar but standard error is standard deviation divided by square root of the sample size the higher the square root the smaller will be the standard error so it is not directly proportional but it is inversely proportional bia liklo very 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 important sure short topic ba 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 black sheep have you any wool syringes yellow back are anatomical ways what color bag that is going to be the favorite question so black bag is the syringes one waste disposal color coding sure short topic of it but the mark is better endemic cystitis is caused by pyrrole is it so what is the infant mortality in 2019 latest figure kya hai 28.3 deaths per 1000 live births what is what defines the desired end result 
that is not operationally measurable. Goal. Goal is a desired end result. Goals are not measurable, but usually are supported by a measurable objective. NRHM program was started in April 2005. Now, what are included under the AT3P, ATP3 guidelines, doctor, for metabolic syndrome? Low HDL, hypertriglyceridemia, fasting, plasma, glucose, more than 100. So, dyslipidemia, defined by HDLC, TG levels. Blood pressure, more than 130. Fasting, plasma, glucose, more than 110. And central obesity, where the weight circumference is more than 102. 40 inches in male or more than 88 centimeters, 35 inches in the female. Definition of the metabolic syndrome. So where do you see pericardial calcification, doctor? So this is the pericardial calcification. This is the feature of constrictive pericarditis is what you need to remember. Isnophilic esophagitis may. You give fluticasone, subucus fibrosis can occur. Microabscess may be seen, they're all true. If you do, so what is a classical feature of Canada? Large nodular defects resembling grape clusters are typically found. So this is the esophageal candidiasis when you are doing endoscopy. Confluent linear nodular elevated plots as what you can see. These are the classical findings. Then one more thing about esophageal candidiasis. Snake snake skin. Samt ke chamade ke jaisi dikta hai. Agar barium kare to barium mein esophageal candidiasis looks like the skin of the snake is what you should remember. Then in esophilic esophagitis there will be longitudinal fissures and abscesses and stitches. Velcro crepitations, crackles are a feature of pulmonary fibrosis. Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis may count the doctor central, central bronchiectasis like that, peripheral nasal. So the major criteria, minor criteria of the ABP, a favorite topic. Ah, abhi agaya, plural effusion. First word, doctor, sag in ascites and transudative versus exudative in plural effusion along with lights criteria all these things you have to be sure doctor yet very 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 important sure short topic hai murli bharadwaj ka kal ke need bhi jime barabar so either in mnemonic to remember yes sir some people can cause nausea yuck svc syndrome pulmonary embolism cirrhosis chf nephrotic syndrome they're all causes of the transudative pleural effusion don't forget so congestive cardiac failure cirrhosis nephrotic syndrome peritoneal dialysis svc obstruction myxedema then what are to everything else is exudated. Severe sepsis bolne ke liye, what are the criteria? The mean arterial pressure is less than 70. Lactate is above the upper limits of normal. Urine output less than 0.5. PaO2 by FI to less than 250. Creatinine more than 2. Bilirubin more than 4. Platelet count less than 1 lakh. INR more than 1.5 defines severe sepsis is what you need to remember. So, Pella SIRS, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. What is that? Abnormal body temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, and WBC curve. Sepsis kab hota hai agar infection ke wajah se SIRS hai to. Otherwise, there can be non-infectious causes for the Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. What are they? 
What are they? So you should remember what are the um, non-infective causes? Acute pancreatitis is one cause. Massive blood transfusion. Massive blood transfusion is another important cause for development of systemic inflammatory response syndrome. So when do you call severe sepsis? Sepsis hai or sepsis induced organ dysfunction be persistent low blood pressure, etc. etc. Now, what are the markers of acute kidney kidney injury? Microglobulin beta 2, microglobulin alkaline phosphatase. Engal, Kin1, IL18, Cystatin C, they are all the markers. So, whenever acute kidney injury is there, are there any indications for renal biopsy? Suppose if it is a unexplained, you are not able to find a reason why acutely kidney injured. Similarly, nephritic syndrome with AKI or any systemic disease may, like SLE. Repetitive arthritis, acute kidney injury, if it is there. Carney's triad. Triad is different from syndrome, be very sure. So, pulmonary chondroma, gistric tumors, paragangliomas. So, Carney's triad is a multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome along with gastric. Epithelioid leomyosarcoma called gist, pulmonary chondroma, extra adrenal paraganglioma. This combination is called Carney's triad. Whereas Carney's complex, it is also called Lamb syndrome, name syndrome, atrial myxoma, lentiges, and endocrine overactivity. So when there are blue nevi, mucocutaneous myxomas, atrial myxomas, lentiges, it is called Lamb syndrome, is what you need to remember. So, doctor, we will take a quick break. Five minutes. Hamne eight ganta mehnat kiya na, isliye thoda break le lenge. Jara kitchen mein jaake, garma garam chai pakdenge. Panch minute ke baad shuru karenge hamare prasthan ko. Ready? So, you will join back. Break for five minutes. Please rejoin. Okay. And most important, download Incas app and take the mock test. Take mock test. Mock test daily. That is my request to all of you. Right, Doc? So after a cup of tea, I'll see all of you and we will finish the 100 questions discussion. Identify where we are going wrong. What are those 10, 15 topics every day? And that is how we are going to become the toppers.
So, good evening and welcome back, everybody. I hope you had that cup of tea, which is the need of the hour. So, let's finish all the remaining questions. Bronchiectasis is associated with Wood syndrome, is one of the important questions. So, yes. Yellow nail syndrome, Brooke and William Campbell syndrome, they're all associated with bronchiectasis. Whereas Kaplan syndrome is rheumatoid arthritis plus the nodular lesions in the lung. So William Campbell is the place where the cartilage in the bronchi is defective. And that leads to the collapse of the airways and the bronchiectasis is what you should remember. The most common extraglandular manifestations outside the gland, obviously the joint involvement in the rheumatoid in the jogrins. So simply speaking, jogrin is nothing but something like a rheumatoid plus the salivary gland involvement. Russell sign. Have you watched the uh, Crown serial in that Lady Diana is known to have bulimia nervosa. So she eats when Charles is cheating on her and in the depression she will be purging out. So those people who have bulimia there will be incisive of teeth marks on their uh, knuckles, which is called Russell sign, is what you should remember. Reversed pulses paradoxus, where do you see? We see it in the case of the HOCM. So in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, what is happening? The interventricular septum is hypertrophic. Because of the hypertrophy, the blood when is trying to negotiate into the left ventricular outflow tract, then this interventricular septum will be blocking. So now, it is the touching between the mitral valve leaflet and the uh, hypertrophy interventricular septum which will lead to the block of the left ventricular outflow. So now what will happen with inspiration? Inspiration, negative intrathoracic pressure will suck the blood into the heart. So there is more amount of blood coming into the left atrium, into the left ventricle. So the left ventricle becomes stretched and the touching becomes decreased. Because of that, during the inspiration, what will happen? During the inspiration, the murmur of the HOCM diminishes. So that is what gives it the term Reverse the pulses paradoxes is what I want to underscore to all of you. Whereas all the right-sided murmurs, they will increase in intensity of the murmur with inspiration. Whereas 
the HOC murmur diminishes with inspiration. Once more, I want to tell you, Doctor, HOCM is one of the hot topic. Mitral valve prolapse and all the dynamic auscultation. What happens to their murmurs? AS, AR, MS, MR. Definitely one MCQ in general medicine out of 30 MCQs is going to come. Be very sure you can do a quick revision of all this in the Incas app. Incas learning app, you go to 2000 HD videos. In that, in the general medicine, you have a clear description. Both noradrenergic and cholinergic systems are blocked. What will be the appropriate heart rate? This is a general knowledge question. 100 beats per minute. What is the approximate daily requirement of potassium? It is 50 millimoles per kg body weight. Congenital heart block, neonatal lupus. What is the marker? Anti rho antibodies. In absence, she said you use valproate, lamotrigine, and clonazepam. Ataxia, ankle and knee jerks are absent, but extensor plantar, generally, absent knee jerks is a sign of LMN. Extensor plantar is a feature of UMN. Both of them being there is only there in the case of the Frederick's ataxia, is what you have to basically. Remember. So now, doctor, if you specific lesions on the small intestinal mucosal biopsy, where do you see? Once more, this is one of the important MCQs many times asked in the AIMS exam. If you look at the AIMS question bank, past 15 years, so many times this question has been asked. So, whenever you do the biopsy, small intestinal biopsy, the lesions that you see can be classified into diffuse and specific, patchy and specific, diffuse and non-specific. <clears throat> One of the very important Bhatti Marnimale MCQ in the tomorrow's need page, whether you become pathologist or not, whether you become gastroenterologist or not. Still examiner will ask this. Diffuse specific in Whipple's disease. Patchy specific in Crohn's disease, lymphoma and infections. Diffuse non-specific in celiac sprue, tropical sprue, autoimmune enteropathy. So where do you see diffuse specific doctor? Whipple's disease, agama globulinemia and abeta lipoproteinemia. Where do you see patchy specific? Intestinal lymphoma, intestinal lymphangiectasia, amelgasis, Crohn's disease, mastocytosis. Whether you like it or not, you need to create uh, some mnemonic to remember all this uh, useless stuff. And after you finish entrance exam, you forget it. That kind of story. 54 year old male brought to emergency with confusion, gauge palsy. And what is confusion and gauge palsy makes you to think about? Typically, the Wernicke's and cephalopathy. Thymine infusion helps to improve, but the memory loss is not improved by thymine because it's a irreversible damage to the mammillary bodies. What are the good prognostic features? International prognostic system of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Serum albumin less than 4, hemoglobin less than 10.5, male sex, age more than 45, inner bar stage 4, WBC count greater than 15,000, absolute lymphocyte count less than 600. So these are all the international prognostic system of Hodgkin's lymphoma, nothing to do with intelligence doctor, but the Marneka list me, aap add karlo, kyunki need PG me, one question on lymphoma or leukemia. Without that, there is no question paper, kyunki 
medicine, pathology, pediatrics, surgery, ये चारों में lymphoma leukemia होता है इसलिए बराबर now morbidly obese person will consume more oxygen. He will have more V by Q mismatch, decrease functional residual capacity. Now, 25 year old, hirsutism, falseness of voice. So it is the blood DHEA levels which will help you. Now, maturity onset diabetes among young with insulin promoter factor 1 defect is what you see in MODI 4. And MODI 4 is caused by a PDX1 gene mutation, which codes for insulin promoter factor 1. Pura bakwas hai. Fir bhi exam ke liye yaad rakna padda. Theophylline poisoning to me, what is the treatment of choice? You give propranolol. Beta blockade with propranolol and hemoperfusion. That is the treatment of acute theophylline poison. Now, what are the absolute indications for cardiosteroids in interstitial nephritis? So, any SLE ka interstitial nephritis, archibald interstitial nephritis, and uveitis, idiopathic and granulomatous interstitial nephritis. So, absolute indications, relative indications for starting corticosteroids in case of interstitial nephritis. I am on gap metabolic acidosis. Area is a nagma. Nagma kya hai? Normal anion gap metabolic acidosis is nagma. Diarrhea hota hai nagma. Or alcohol renal failure, starvation. Wo sab hota hai hagma. Hagma hota hai high anion gap metabolic acidosis. If the bilirubin level increase with prolonged fasting, What will you think about? Gilbert. Any starvation, exercise, fasting, if they bring a jaundice in a otherwise healthy looking young man with an isolated hyperbilirubinemia, that means isolated hyperbilirubinemia. When you look at the LFT, SGOT, SGPT, everything is normal. Only bilirubin is elevated. That's called isolated hyperbilirubinemia. So, that is Gilbert syndrome. Lateral medullary syndrome, there is a contralateral pain and temperature loss. Now, doctor, I am giving you very, very, very important, sure, short topic. My neighborhood, Inka Sat Me Jao. Inka Sat Me, 2000 HD videos Me, Brain Stem, Brain Stem Stroke Bolke Ek Video Reta. Uska Dera Revision Karo Baya. Now, what is the rule of four in Brain Stem? In the midline, there are four structures, doctor. Four structures. In the lateral part, there are four yes wala structures. So, what are the four medial structures? Yum for motor pathway, otherwise, corticospinal tract is on the corticospinal tract is along the midline. Medial lemniscus, which brings the contralateral vibration and proprioception. Is medial. Medial longitudinal fasciculus, which is important for prevention of internuclear ophthalmoplegia, is medial. The motor nucleus, 3, 4, 6, 12. 3, 4, 6, 12. Third, fourth, sixth, twelfth. Motor nuclei are also there in the 
media aspect. That is what you should remember. There are four structures along the side which start with yes. Yes is spinocerebellar pathway, spinothalamic pathway. Spinothalamic, all of you know, spinothalamic brings contralateral pain and temperature. Sensory nucleus of the fifth cranial nerve, fifth cranial nerve, and sympathetic pathway. That's the reason whenever the lateral part in the brainstem is affected, sympathetic is affected. And uh, that leads to the development of Horner's syndrome, which is the part of the lateral medullary syndrome, for example. Now, there are four cranial nerves in the medulla, four in the pons, and four above the pons. So, glossopharyngeal, vagus, spinal accessory, hypoglossal, 9 to 12 are all there in medulla. Then, the four motor nuclei, which are there in the midline, are those that divide equally into 12. So you have 3, 4, 6, 12. These four nerves, motor nuclei, are there in the midline. Na? So I will remember 3 is divisible, 12 is divisible by 3. 12 is divisible by 4, 6 is divisible by 4, 12 is divisible by 12. So 3, 4, 6, 12. There is 5, 7, 9, 11. They are typically part of the lateral part of the brainstem. So that is what you need to ultimately remember. Okay, doctor. I'm going to leave this uh, video also here. But please go back to the Incas Learning App, 2015 videos specially designed for you. Along with PowerPoints, every video in the Incas app is accompanied by the PowerPoint of the notes, right? So you can do the revision. Sickle syndrome, Dubois syndrome, Fanconi anemia, they're all pancet opinion, but diamond black film is pure red cell aplasia is diamond black one. Expressed milk, breast milk for how long can you store? Six hours at room temperature. Three year old child, he rides a tricycle, alternate feet going up and down. Papa, let us go to Bazaar. He knows his full name, he knows boy or girl himself. Circle by three years, cross by four years, square by five years, triangle by six years. You should not forget, doctor, developmental milestones. Without that, there is no question paper. Very, very, very important. MCQ for the tomorrow's sneak peek. Is name my brother? 40 grandest that I am discussing. Totally 4,000 MCQs. This may say he 170 questions. Nahi aay to mera naam Madhli Bharadwaj nahi. Brabar. Sinotic child, oligemic lung fields, no cardiomegaly, right axis division. What else is required? It is tetralogy of fallow. Meaning what encephalitis commonly due to? The HHSV. HSV1 is the most common cause of sporadic encephalitis. 20 year old female delivered a male boy, LSCS. Very important clue. Interlobar fissure may fluid. Respiratory distress settled in 24 hours. How do you In 24 hours only, it is settled, means it is transient. Transient, take me off your body. Acute dramatic fever may. Because of the valvulitis, the ring become distended and the MR is the earliest valvular lesion. Asymmetrical IUGR may, brain is not affected. 10 year old girl, intentional tremor, dysarthria, rigid dystonia, brownish discoloration in the outer margin of cornea. Abhi Wilson's disease, nahi, sojrene to gone. 
So Wilson is autosomal recessive. And uh, younger patients with hepatic involvement will be seen. Coombs related to hemolytic anemia will be there. But no sensory changes. A five year old male, history of fever on and off, petechial spots, sphenomegaly, what is the diagnosis? There's a thrombocytopenia, everything, so acute leukemia. Abhi Agaya, very, very, very important MCQ. How many types of dementia do you know, doctor? Cortical, subcortical. Now, one of the favorite questions asked in the exam is what are the differences between cortical and subcortical dementia? They're going to ask in the tomorrow's exam. Alertness is normal in cortical, Alzheimer's disease. But subcortical may be slowed. Attention is normal in cortical but impaired in subcortical. Executive function is also impaired in subcortical. Episodic memory, there is a forgetfulness in subcortical but amnesia all the way in algebra. Aphasia is a feature of algebra. Apraxia is a feature of algebra. And perception is impaired in both. Visual spatial perception. Personality is preserved unless it is a frontal type of algebra. But generally, subcortical aphasias, I mean, subcortical dementia, patient is a pathetic candidate. Remember, very, very, very important MCQ. Is a record now. So, cortical. Algemin, frontotemporal dementia. Subcortical, Huntington's, Parkinson, progress, supranuclear palsy, Wilson. Mixed both types is Kutzfeld, Jacob, Lewy body, neurosyphilis, subdural hematoma, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Bright light treatment, where do you use, doctor? Seasonal affective disorder. Lithium, we use it for vascular headache, neutropenia. Neutropenia, please don't forget. And also for major depression. Because one of the important side effects of the TM is leukocytosis. That is the reason those who have neutropenia, we use the lithium in order to improve the neutrophil count. Mu receptor of the opioid, meiosis. Post traumatic stress disorder may carry the Flashbacks, hyperarousal, emotional numbing, etc. etc. Dexmeditomidin is a central alpha 2 agonist, is what you need to remember. It is used in intensive care units. It is uh, produced a sedation without causing respiratory depression. That is the reason it is used. Catecholamine. Sensitization of the heart leading to arrhythmias. That is the issue with halothane. Halothane, ketamine, isoflurane, propofol. Doctor, 10, 10 points about each of them. Very, very, very important MCQ topic, doctor. Last 40 days, may Garma Garam Rena. It should flow in your blood. Uttana favorite examiner's question. Hypotension during surgery. Sodium nitroprusside, propofol, isvalol, they are all used. Mephintanamine is a cardiac stimulant. So it is used to increase the BP, not induce the hypotension. D2 both curarin and the amino glycoside. If you happen to combine, that will worsen the muscle weakness. Is what you have to remember.
coronary perfusion pressure aortic diastolic pressure minus left ventricular end diastolic pressure left ventricular end diastolic pressure and aortic diastolic pressure this is a deciding factor this gradient is a deciding force to push the blood into the coronaries is what you need to remember angel's kiss or stork bite is the other name for erythema lutei so the skin is not thickened and uh, it is irregularly shaped it is pink or tan and flat telangiectatic nemus acha gorbachev saab abhi uska umar hai 90 year old is a very charismatic leader he made ussr to break and gave chance for many countries under the russian federation to get independence so in all the meetings the lesion over here so what is this doctor is called port wine stain it is present at birth and range from pale to pink in color and uh, it will remain throughout life abhi bhi ramsman tolli there is a video released on his documentary very charismatic leader michael gorbachev <coughs> still the port wine stain will be there throughout our life so doctor thanks for patiently giving your time to dr murli bhardwaj every day and giving me a chance to study along with you so no panic no tension no anxiety aaram se padhai karo aur 25 din ka time hai khelte khelte you will become topper right so once more we will all meet evening 6 o'clock don't forget download the inka sap take the test every day every day one new grand test of 40 grand tests are being provided Good night.